Jim, congratulations. I've written down three words. Patient, effective, efficient. Do you go along with that? It wouldn't have been the three words up. <laughs> go on. Um, no, no, I, I, no, credit to therapy. I mean, I've, I've watched him, and, and I know the scoreline at uh, Tamworth kind of perhaps flattered Tamworth. They really were ruthless that night in terms of their set plays. But, um, but uh, looking at the previous results was against Salford and Blythe, we, we had to give respect to, to um, Ferriby that they, they can retain the ball and they've got a threat. And, um, but um, I thought we weren't at our best, but uh, as long as we did lots of things right and kept asking the right questions, um, I felt we were going to get the goals to be good. Dream start as well for you today, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's always good because it's sort of... You know, we said that you know, we won't have the game won, but what we could, if we started really well, we could have the game by the scruff of the neck. And I felt that we did, um, by and large, have the game in our own hands. Um, Although it's always a bit nervy when they got the, the goal, but we, we responded well and got that second goal. And um, uh, it was just about us just being professional in the second half and making sure that we were didn't give them any cheap chances and that we kept asking, like I said, kept asking and probing them and, and, and getting the good quality into the box. And if we did, then we, we felt we could get another goal. What pleased you most about the performance today? Um, just um, we, we perhaps just the, the tactical change at the end. Um, you know, I've been a little bit disappointed in, in terms of when we were seeing the game out, in terms of our shape, and uh, some of the subs have been a little bit disappointed in what they bring into the table. And I thought that um, we, we prepared um, to bring in Paul Turnbull and push Jimmy Ball forward and let Matty. I thought Matty got swamped out in the 10 roll. Um, he was well marshalled um, by, by two holding midfielders, he couldn't get a break. And I felt that as, if we kind of got him out to the side a little bit and give him a bit of freedom, we did that against FC United and he got two goals in that game. And I felt that, um, you know, that if we could get him in a position where he had a bit more freedom, and the, the third goal summed up really, Jimmy Ball just slotted him in and he was able to play and get in, and the third goal really sealed the game for us. Last summer, I know people were saying, how are we going to replace the goals of Danny Lloyd? You've got a front two now with 50 goals between them. Uh, Jason moving on to 29 now already. So um, I think that's answered it in spades, hasn't it? Uh, well, I mean, fair play to Jason, um, you know, like I said, because he's, he's an unknown quantity. He's matured mm. brilliantly in the uh, Welsh League. And, um, you know, if he keeps working as hard as he is today, he's always going to get opportunities. Um, you know, for, for one of the part time players, the amount of shift he puts in, um, you know, for him to stay strong all the way for the 90 minutes was great credit to him. So he's been really, really mentally strong the last three or four weeks for us, and it's been great. And I'm delighted for him that he's getting the goals, and um, you know, and he, and he will score goals, especially if we get the quality into the box. And um, we gave him a couple of good chances in the first half. Um, perhaps second half they swamped us out a bit, but um, but Matty Warburton was a player that we knew from this level. You know, 19 goals last year. I think he's got 21 now, That's and right. um, you know, um, he's just. You know, he's got that extra quality that, that you know, he's one of the best tens I've seen at this level, and he was the first player I wanted in last year, um, and he was one of the first, one of the reasons why we're, we're perhaps still staying with a, a couple of part-time players is because we've got two or three really good part-time players who, who don't look out of place amongst full-time players. So six wins in a row, but look at the bigger picture. It's lovely to watch the fans leaving the ground today, shaking hands, high fives, hugging you. Um, 379 games in charge, officially now the joint longest serving manager in Stockport County history. And, and to equal that record that stood for over 100 years, it, it's fantastic. And great tribute to you. In, in the modern era, you're not, you're not going to see that too often. It is, it is very hard. I mean, and, and like I said um, in, the, in the press article, that, you know, when I first came in, I was only just asked to be a caretaker, and I got the phone call while I was in Ireland to come back after the Boxing Day game. Um, and you know, I just wanted to serve the club, and um, fortunately, the lads responded great to what we put on, and seemed to have a little bit of life. And um, we went on to to pick up 35 points in half a season after only getting 17. It was enough to keep us up. 10,000 fans at the last game of the season, just credit to the club. Um, you know, we worked really hard then to implement what, what I believe the game should be about, it's just growing players and playing the right type of football and it's a fantastic couple of years and you know, it's been disappointing for the club um, the last five or six years but 
We're working really hard now to try and rebuild the structures of the club, re rebuild the full time and the professionalism of the club. And um, if we keep working really hard, then we're going to keep moving in the right direction. So I'm delighted to play my part. And like I said, 379 games makes me feel <laughs> old, um, but also very humbled and uh, proud of what what we've done and the fact that um, you know that I'm allowed to continue to be uh, such a good servant to the club. We're both getting old together, don't worry about that. But in terms of, uh, of, of what it means as a, as a, as a statistic, it's, it's fantastic. But is there a little bit of frustration or regret perhaps that you've had to come in and this is the third time you've had to try and rebuild the football club? Yeah, well, uh, no, no, reg no regrets really. I mean, I was, I was so disappointed to be made redundant mm -hmm. and then the people that took over the club um, started breaking the wrong type of records and, and there was no plan for the next season and we just tumbled and tumbled again. and. Um, but look, we, we can point fingers and look at what um, we were left in a difficult situation financially. People that came in thought they could make the difference. Uh, we, we're where we are now, and um, you know. And what we need is uh, when I first came in, I remember doing an article for the, uh, and I talked about the spirit of the club. And then when I came in, but if we were going to survive in um, 2005, six season, it was all going to be about the spirit. And the lads are warming down, and there's no reason for me to go into the change room. I don't say much at the end of the games, and you know, and all the fans are filtering by here. So I just want to thank them all for the support and wish them a safe journey. And um, it's their spirit. It's the spirit of the team. It's the spirit of the management team. That's all getting us moving in the right direction. So long may it continue. And it's a record that you'll beat on Tuesday night away at Kidderminster. That'll be a very different proposition to the game today, won't it? What, what would you say to your players before that? Um, well. It'll be a different proposition, and, it, and you know we've done brilliant. Um, you know we've had four wins on the road now. I mean everybody's talked about the six wins on the bounce, but um, yeah, it's, um, we went to Kidderminster in the FA Trophy and did really, really well. Um, Kidderminster got a fantastic home record. It'd be an interesting game because I think um, you know both teams won't want to lose the game and uh, see how much they want to win the game. Um, but. I'm not sure how all the results have gone today, but um, all we can do is look after our own business and go to, to, to Kidderminster, um, work as hard as we have done today, perhaps improve a little few little things and keep working our performance and our, our percentages, our turnover, the quality that we have. Um, there's lots of bits that were a bit ragged today that we can get away with against teams below us, but we can't get away with against the best side. So um, we need to be moving towards our best for the, the next term. Um, the next away games because they're all going to be tough, you know, Kidderminster, Blythe, Chorley, they're all going to be tough games. Um, but we'll start one game at a time, we'll be in on Monday morning uh, trying to get ourselves physically, mentally and tactically prepared for the game and um, hopefully that will make a difference in terms of getting us in the right frame of mind for Tuesday, which is a, a massive game. Well done on the record, well done on the three points, congratulations. Thanks so much.